What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at VRS Designs cases for the brand new Galaxy S23 Ultra. We're going to be taking a look at the Glide Hybrid, the Glide Pro, and the Neo Flip Active cases. I will also be putting links in the description for these particular cases as well, in case you guys want to pick them up. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because that helps me keep purchasing products to review to you guys. Now VRS Design also makes cases for other phones and they also have accessories as well. So I will be putting a link in the description to their website so you guys can check out everything that they have to offer. So let's go and get started. So here we have the VRS Design Glide Hybrid case. So here is the case. It is very industrial looking, very cool. It's got those rivets in the back here. And it also has a couple features. One, it holds up to three or four cards in here. So you can just leave your wallet at home if you want. Put a couple credit cards, your ID, and you're good to go. The next really cool feature that it has is it has a built-in kickstand. So if you want to watch some YouTube, Netflix, or even take a Zoom call, you can do that as well. So let's put our phone inside the case here. Feels very nice in the hand. It doesn't feel too bulky. It kind of fits right in your palm with that little bump on the back. And it's also got these aggressive ridges on the side to help with our grip. As you can see from the side, it does add quite a bit of bulk to the phone, but again, you're adding uh, two more features to the case. It's got a nice raised edge on the top and the bottom for your screen protection. And if we look at the other side, we have our power button and our volume rockers right here. On the bottom, it's got a cutout for your charging port, your speaker, and your S Pen. And you can easily access that because it has a nice little cutout for it. You can easily get your finger in there and take out your S Pen. And if we look at the back here, as you can see, again, it's got those really cool uh, plastic rivets. This piece on the top and the bottom here is actually real metal, so you know it's quality. And it's kind of got that really cool design on the back. It also has a nice recession to protect your camera lenses as well. Now, as far as the buttons go, they are very easily clickable. It's kind of like just clicking the button on your phone. You barely have to touch the button, which is really nice. You can easily find them. The phone does feel good in the hand. It's not slippery at all. And if you need to access the bottom of your phone, you can still do that without any issues. Very nice case. And if you happen to drop your phone, you know it's definitely going to be protected because it's got that nice prominent chin and forehead as well as that back protection. Now, if you're wondering if this will work with wireless charging, It won't because the back is so thick and then again you're still going to have some credit cards in there as well blocking the wireless charging capabilities but it's a trade-off again you're getting two features that aren't normally on other cases the back of the case very easily slides open where you can put your cards in and then just slide that back into place I guarantee if you get this case, you're going to be playing with this like it's a little fidget spinner. It just very easily slides open. Very cool. So the fact that this offers you a card holder and a kickstand all in one, I definitely think that this case is worth taking a look at and I would give it a thumbs up. And here we have it in the green groove color. I actually like this. It's kind of like the OD green. Looks really cool. It's got the black accented back here. Very nice. God, you barely have to push the button. It's so nice. And then here we have the Glide Pro. It's pretty much just like the hybrid, but it doesn't have the kickstand. Still has a really cool card holder. Again, this one feels really nice in the hand. It is not slippery. Buttons, again, super clicky. Very nice, very easily findable and clickable. Again, if we look at the side, as you can see, this case is a little less bulky because it doesn't have that kickstand. So if you don't need the kickstand portion, the Glide Pro is definitely a case to check out. As you can see, it's still got that nice raised edge on the top and the bottom. We have our lanyard hole and that serration on the side for grip. On the other side, we have our power button, our volume rockers, that serration. 
On the bottom, we have our cutout for our S Pen, the charging port, and our speaker. On the back again, it's got that really cool uh, design and those metal strips on the top and the bottom. Still has that nice recession for your camera lens protection. And again, it's got that really cool card slider. So again, you can very easily just slide your cards in here and then close it up. And you don't have to worry about your cards falling out either. It's not going to just open up by itself. You have to just push just to, just to give it a little bit of force to open up and it stays closed. Now, if you're wondering about wireless charging for this case, let's see if it works. So wireless charging still does not work for this case either, just because it's got that big bump on the back. And here it is in the green groove. What do you guys think about the two-tone color? I actually love it because it makes it stand out. I don't think it would look as good if everything was green. I love this card holder on the back of the Glide Pro, and I'm sure you guys will too, so I'd definitely give this case a thumbs up. And then here we have the newest case, the Neo Flip Active. So this one has a nice clear back on it, and it also has a card holder that's clear as well. Very cool. So this one feels just like the other ones, nice in the hand. Buttons are nice and clicky, easily accessible. If we look at the side here, as you can see, it, again, it just adds a little bit of bulk to the phone because of the card holder. It still has the nice raised edge on the top and the bottom. On the other side, we have our power button and our volume rockers, and it's got that serration in like a plastic. Also, all of these cases are reinforced in the edges again, in case you happen to drop your phone on its edge, it's going to be protected. On the back here, as you can see, it does show off the color of your phone. It's got a really nice deep well for those camera lenses, so they will be always protected. Now this case holder here kind of flips open with your hand just like that. Then you can put all your cards in here and then just simply close it up with a click. That is super cool. I really like how you can see the cards through the case holder. What do you guys think about that? Would you rather be totally transparent like it is or blacked out so nobody can see? Let me know in the comments. And on the bottom here, we have our charging port cutout, our speaker grill, and our S Pen that you can easily access without any issues. And you can easily open it up just like that. Now this isn't just gonna flop open. Your cards are not gonna just fall out. It's in there pretty nice, and you have to use just a little bit of force to pop it open to get your cards out. So let's see if this one will wirelessly charge. It's just a tad too far away from the wireless charger to wirelessly charge, but again, that's a trade-off. You get to have a little card holder in here to hold your cards and get rid of your wallet, but you won't be able to wirelessly charge. But this is a really nice case. It's, it's a toss-up between the assisted opening and closing of the Glide Pro and the Glide Hybrid, or this one where you kind of manually have to open it, but it's clear. Which one would you guys rather have? Let me know. I really do like this case, and I would definitely give it a thumbs up. So that is it for VRS design cases for the brand new Galaxy S23 Ultra. Again, I will be putting links in the description in case you guys want to pick up any of these cases yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to review to you guys. Again, Glide Hybrid, Glide Pro, and the Neo Flip Active. Which one of these cases would you guys pick up? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.